When a user wants to read a file, the client will talk to name node and name node will return the metadata of the file. This metadata has information about the blocks and their locations. When the client receives the metadata of the file, it communicates directly with the data nodes and accesses the data sequentially or parallelly. This way, there is no bottleneck in name node as client talks to name node only once to get the metadata of the files. HDFS by design makes sure that no two writers write the same file at the same time by ensuring a single name node. If there are multiple name nodes and clients make requests to these different name nodes, the entire file system gets corrupted. This is because these multiple requests can write to a file at the same time. Let's understand how files are written to HDFS. When a user uploads a file to HDFS, the client, on behalf of the user, tells the name node that it wants to create the file. Name node replies back with the locations of the data node where the files can be written. Also, name node creates a temporary entry in the metadata. The client then opens the output stream and writes the file to the first data node. The first data node is the one which is closest to the client machine. If the client is on a machine which is also a data node, the first copy will be written on this machine. Once the file is stored on one data node, the data gets copied to other data nodes simultaneously. Also, once the first copy is completely written, the data node informs the client that the file is created. The client then confirms to the name node that the file has been created. The name node cross-checks this data nodes and updates the entry in the metadata successfully. Now let's understand what happens while reading a file from HDFS. When a user wants to read a file, the HDFS client on behalf of the user talks to the name node. The name node provides the locations of various blocks of this file and their replicas instead of giving back the actual data. Out of these locations, the client chooses the data nodes closer to it. The client talks to these data nodes directly and reads the data from these blocks. The client can read blocks of the file either sequentially or simultaneously.